in this video we'll be discussing about the balancing of masses uh, from the subject dynamics of machinery which is coming in the third module so in balancing you have to study the balancing of both rotating masses and balancing of reciprocating masses so first we will be starting with the balancing of rotating masses and in this balancing you are having two types of balancing which are known as static balancing and dynamic balancing and we will be seeing this both static and dynamic balancing step by step so first we will be discussing about the static balancing uh, balancing is actually we are uh, correcting or removing all the unbalanced forces as well as unbalanced couples so that is balancing so in order to understand that first we should know what is an unbalanced force or unbalanced torque so consider a shaft and uh, we are considering some plane within the shaft so this is the shaft and one of the plane which is coming across the shaft section is shown so you are having a shaft here and within this rotating shaft a plane is considered this shaft is supported at this end and this shaft is rotating with some angular velocity omega and i am considering this blue uh, plane as the plane of rotation of some masses within this shaft and suppose you are having the axis coordinate axis systems which are shown like this this is the x axis and uh, this is the y or z axis and you are having this as the y axis so you are having the different axis system shown here and this is the center of the shaft which is passing across the plane of consideration and within the shaft i am considering a mass which is attached along this orientation see some mass which is rotating about this axis of rotation is having this orientation uh, suppose this is located at a, an angle of theta with respect to the x axis and this is spaced at a distance of r from the center of rotation and it is having a mass m on the work e shaft and if i am viewing from the front or if i am viewing from the z axis in a direction le view cheyidale you will be seeing this line shaft will be uh, observed as a point this will be the shaft this will be the shaft point and you will be having the x direction will be like this and about this shaft there will be a rotating mass which is placed at a distance or angular distance of x with respect to this x axis and with respect to this x axis theta orientation you are having a rotating mass and rotating mass is placed at a radial distance of r from the shaft and that mass is m and so this uh, this shaft is rotate this rot mass is rotating about this shaft in the direction shown with an angular velocity of omega so as a result of this rotating masses there will be some centrifugal force developed across this uh, direction whose magnitude will be mr omega square this you are knowing you have studied the centrifugal force so this mr omega square omega is this rotation m mass and r is the real distance and at the instant which i am considering theta an angular displacement since the shaft is rotating this theta will be keep on changing but the magnitude of centrifugal force will be same means omega is d theta by dt if the if it shaft is rotating at a uniform speed omega will be same uh, so either angular displacement position eduthalum mr omega square magnitude same irikum but mr omega square direction will be keep on changing if we are having some at, at another theta considering the mr omega square force will be coming in that radial direction so anyway for this instantaneous location the unbalancing force of mr omega square will be occurring this force is known as unbalancing force what is the effect of this unbalancing force this force will be trying to um, this so this force will be trying to disturb the system from its equilibrium position so nammada shaft nu parayna this one was the shaft and in between this plane you are having the rotating masses 
and because of this rotating masses a force of m r omega square is acting in this direction so as a result of this unbalancing force m r omega square which is acting in this direction your shaft will be getting uh, deflected so this unbalancing force will be trying to disturb this shaft or this system which is rotating along this direction towards this will be deflecting so you have to remove for better uh, performance of this machinery or machine elements you have to remove this unbalancing forces and that process of removing this unbalanced forces or there can be unbalanced couples also about unbalanced couple we will be discussing in the dynamic balancing so this process of removing both unbalancing force and unbalancing couples is known as balancing so in static balancing you will be removing only unbalanced forces in dynamic balancing you will be removing both unbalancing forces and couple so here how you, how you can remove this unbalanced forces so here if you are drawing the uh, force polygon then this is the shaft so if you are drawing the pol vector polygon for force then you are having the unbalanced force which is in this direction this is m r omega square balance ega means you have to remove this force m r omega square engana m r omega square na remove eyanengil there should be an equal and opposite force which is acting along the opposite uh, same line of action so ingane oru force vannale ee point in ee vector nend etra length undo same vector opposite direction vannale this will be completely balanced ee condition aanu static balancing and where you are removing this unbalanced forces so this is unbalanced force and this force you are using to balance which is known as balancing force so balancing force will be having same magnitude opposite direction and same line of action and i am calling this unbalanced balancing forces mb into rb into omega square this should be same as this mr omega square angana anengile ee mb rb omega square cheyanengil i'll i'll have to add some extra mass or balancing mass a mass evada add cheyanam if this is the uh, point of rotation then i should add this balancing mass in the opposite direction in the same line of action and this will be the balancing mass i am adding which is mb and this is rb and this is rotating at the same speed because this balancing mass mb as well as m is attached attached along the same shaft which is rotating at m so e uh, rb will be having some value and mb will be as having some another value anyway this product mb rb omega square will be same as mr omega square omega same avund usually nammal force kandupidikkumbo omega square und ellam divide allengil polygon varikkumbo mr omega square will not be considering you will be taking only the uh, forces in terms of product of mass and radial distance only means you will be considering only if you are having a force mr omega square you will be representing only m into r and that balancing mass will be not will be considered actually it is mb rb omega square but you will be considering only this term which is mb into rb ingane oru rendu vector varachal this resultant will be zero or vector polygon if you are actually considering first year vector will be in this direction and the next vector will be in this opposite direction means two force equilibrium is happening net force is zero or resultant force is zero means there is no unbalanced force angana anengil this will be coming in equilibrium so you have, have you are having a static balancing for this mass initially oru mass ullayirunnu adine balance cheyan vendi you are adding a balancing mass which is mb and rb same line of action opposite angana anengil you ningada balancing mass nu parayunnathu egadesham ee position la varum which is mb at a distance of rb rb value mb value endu venayalo ava but product of mb and rb will be same as product of m and r so this is static balancing ee case la nokka nammade plane of rotation consider eedu adile oru unbalancing mass e ullayirunnu allengil unbalance create cheyina oru mass e ullu adine balance cheyan vendi appo use cheyina oru mass but in our problems there will be several masses rotating in same plane adine engana balance cheyanaanu adutha nammal padikkunnathu so this is as an introduction i have explained all these things thank you